Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Yeah. But this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We're so glad tonight to be in the house of God. We're so glad tonight he's touched us one more time. We're so glad tonight that you've joined us here tonight once again at New Beginning Christian Faith Center where it's all about God and we magnify him. We thank him tonight. We honor him tonight. We adore him tonight. Let us pray. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, again tonight we thank you. God, we magnify, we glorify glorify uh, your matchless name for there is none like you in the earth uh, it's in you we live we move we have our being uh, we're so grateful that you allowed us to rise up again uh, we were clothed and in our right minds uh, our limbs able to move God uh, we thank you for desire on the inside uh, to be in the house of God uh, thank you for the blood of Jesus still works uh, now God we just glorify you uh, touch and deliver tonight uh, heal tonight tonight set free tonight uh, signs of wonders God uh, let it be manifested through thy word on tonight um, think of a people ready to hear um, a word from the Lord ready to grow up uh, ready to be built up ready to be edified uh, to be the men and women you predestined them to be uh, and father I just give you glory and honor uh, for being your mouthpiece tonight uh, you speak Lord uh, and God I'll give you glory you know what we all need God uh, thank you for your direction, your guidance. Uh, think of your spirit that's in me, uh, being the God, uh, being the director, God. Uh, you know, oh God, as I open my mouth, God, uh, I believe you to fill it uh, with everything we stand in the need of. Uh, and God, I thank you uh, for transformation of lives, uh, the word going forth unhindered in any way, God. Uh, thank you for the touch right now. Uh, heal, God, all over this world. Uh, save, God. Uh, hallelujah. Somebody, somebody. Uh, this fourth month, God, uh, this third day, somebody be touched by your power, God. Uh, let that sinner change their mind on today. Uh, and I thank you for it, God. Uh, the anointing is destroying every yoke right now. Uh, oh, God, and we thank you. Uh, the, oh, God, for you being lifted. Uh, hallelujah. It's time to be saved. Uh, hallelujah. It's time uh, to be fully persuaded like never before. Uh, oh, God, to be committed uh, to trust you like never before before. Uh, we can't put our confidence in anything uh, or anybody except you, God. Uh, you're the only hope that we have. Uh, oh, God, the source, the resource. Uh, God is you, God. Uh, hallelujah. Never let us change uh, for something strange. Uh, but God, no God. Uh, even through tests and trials, uh, they come to make us strong. Uh, help us not to give up uh, and give out in the test, uh, but keep pressing toward the mark. Uh, oh, God knowing uh, that all things will work together for our good uh, and God I your servant will say thank you. Uh, I will give you glory uh, and say it's the Lord's doings uh, and it's marvelous in my eyes uh, because you the one uh, that will bless us through our word uh, in Jesus name. Um, amen. Clap your hands one more time. He's worthy. He's worthy to be honored. Praise God. It's so good to be in the house of God once again. It's good to have the desire to be in the house of God once again. It's good that God has touched us with this thing of love once again. Uh, and I say, rise up, my children. Uh, oh, glory to God. What a blessing. Uh, he has kept us all day long. Uh, kept our hearts and minds stayed on him. Uh, he's kept us, uh, hallelujah, from all seen and unseen dangers. Uh, we just thank him tonight. Uh, Hallelujah, God. I'm so very, very grateful. And it's still ringing in my soul about, oh, God, letting him arise. Uh, letting him arise. Uh, glory to God. As I was thinking today, it came to my mind again that, that Gerald, that some, uh, I'm lying dormant. Uh, but they won't let me arise uh, in the situation that they're going through. Uh, let me arise and be their God. Uh, let me arise and be their help. Uh, let me arise and let me speak. Uh, 
Hallelujah, God. We cannot fix it ourselves, but only he can fix it. We can't do it on our own, but he has to arise. We have to give him permission, hallelujah, God, to take over and be in charge, to be led by his spirit and moved in the power of your spirit. Somebody tonight, let Jesus arise. Oh, glory to God in your circumstance. Don't let the enemy have you bogged down, but let Jesus arise. Don't you become downtrodden in your soul. Don't you think it's not going to be fixed. It's not going to be worked out, but let Jesus let him arise and bring you deliverance. He wants to arise in somebody. Glory to God. He wants to arise in somebody. He does not want the devil to defeat you. He wants you to be victorious. He wants you to be that more than a conqueror that he said you could be. But you got to let him arise. And glory to God. And you just let him be in charge. Let him be your guide. Amen. Praise God. He is real. Hallelujah. He's yet performing mighty works. Hallelujah. Doing wondrous things. Amen. In spite of. Amen. Our tests and trials come to help us. They don't come to destroy us and tear us down, but they come to strengthen us the more to keep pressing because who else are we going to look to? Who else is going to deliver us? Who else is going to bless us? Who else is going to bring us out except our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Amen. These are the last days. No matter how many times we hear it, Amen. We got to keep on hearing it and really believe it that these are the last days. We're still with our topic, living a blessed life. Amen. And this little subtopic in this is knowing that you know the word is working in your life. Amen. This is what's so imperative that we know, you know yourself, that it's working and the Lord wants you to have a blessed life. And he will do just that. Amen. Just stick with him. Amen. Praise God. Don't give up now. Amen. Okay, Minister Gaming. Mm -hmm. From Deuteronomy, the yes. fourth chapter, uh -huh. verses five and six from King James. Mm -hmm. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, mm -hmm. even as the Lord my God commanded me, mm -hmm. that you should do so in the land whither you go to possess it. Mm -hmm. Keep there and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding mm -hmm. in the sight of the nations, mm -hmm. which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Oh, I love the word of God. What is it that the man of God is telling them that he said, what? Behold, I have taught you what the Lord says. What are we getting? We're being taught what the Lord says. Now, what you're going to do with it? We got to obey what it says. His word will set us apart from others. Now, he said, now I'm commanding you what the Lord says. Now, when you go into the land, this, oh, my, come on now. Glory to God. If we want to grow, we want to be what God says, we got to do what? We got to hold on to this and believe that it's true. Come on. Then know that our deliverance is in this word. When you're taught this word, we can't just dismiss it. We can't throw it to the side. But you got to know that it would do it. It's wisdom in it. Huh? Come on now. Is victory and deliverance in it. Glory to God. In the midst of tests, in the midst of trials. Glory to God. Amen. His rules, his regulations, whatever adjective you want to use. But the main thing is, what does he say? Go by it. Live by it. Believe it. And watch what will happen. He said, now listen, I've taught you. Even as the Lord my God commanded me. Come on. This is now he want now God told them that the land he's given them is what a land flowing with milk and honey. They're going to be blessed in that land, have everything they need in that land. So now 
Now, I've told you what kind of land you're going to have, but he said, now I'm teaching you his statutes, his judgments, all these rules, his regulations, his commandments, all this, what one you want to use, that, 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 that you should do in the land that you possess. <laughs> now, you think about it. If they don't do what he commands, think something will happen? That's not so good. When we don't do what he says, think something happened, something not so good, come on. So he said, I'm going to tell you in advance, I want the blessings of God to flow. So I'm commanding you, I'm telling you, I'm giving you I, I, in advance before you get there, I'm telling you what you need to do after you get there. Come on, somebody. So this is why, this is how you're going to be blessed. This is what's going to happen. Glory to God. If you just do what I've already commanded you in advance. Now, I'm sure things did happen. They did face some things. Same thing when the Lord tells Cheryl, God said, okay, Cheryl, this day, I want you to hold on to this scripture. Man said, well, why is this scripture? Cheryl, this day, I'm your light and your salvation. Whom shall you fear? Now you think, why am I holding on to that this day? But your day not over. The Lord already knows the plans. He knows already knows what's set in motion. So I've already told you before you leave home, you hold on to this scripture. I'm your light and your salvation. So you don't know what you're going to come from. But see, if we just miss it, he said, I've already given it to you in advance. Now, if you don't believe what I said and hold on to what I said, and then something happens, you're going to realize, I'm going to bring back to you, I told you before you left home, this is what you're to hold on to. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on, somebody. This is what you're supposed to do. So uh, that, this is how I'm going to bless you. And, and, and this is what I believe the Lord would do for his children. If we just believe that, if we just hold on to it, when God, God will bless his children, he lets us know, I believe, things even in advance sometimes. And then, then you, you might not understand why this is done, why this is said, but glory to God, you got to hold on to it and trust God. God, I've told me situations that I might be perplexed about and things be in my own heart and mind. But the Lord told me in advance, he said, it is well. And then after it's over with, he reminded, didn't I tell you in advance? So why are you going to be have anxiety about it? I've already told you how it's going to turn out. Mm. So we got to think about that. And God wants to bless us. Amen. When we obey his wisdom, he's full of his word is full of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is going to spread that nations will hear about this yes. and they're going to call you wise. Yes. Because you took my sayings and you obeyed them. Yes. 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 But yes. like he said, if they don't, and something happened, nation's going to hear about that too. Yes, right. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing with, think about that. Same thing with us, with the word of God, and it's at work in our lives, and people, they overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony, and when we testify what God has done, and something happens in this person's life, and they can catch hold of faith and believe, and God bless them, and then spread to somebody else, and then spread to somebody else, because glory to God, amen, and believing just what the word of God says, amen, and standing on, praise God, and having that faith in what he says, and even our testimony has been a blessing, and it caused their faith to arise, come on. To trust them in their situation as well. He's real. He's good. Amen. He's so worthy. Praise God. He's so worthy. God. You know, Pastor, you. this mm -hmm. goes along with I'm reading in um, Titus and how Paul had wrote the letter to them. And he was like, look, don't follow them people that's, and let them lead you the wrong way. Because mm -hmm. he say, I'm giving you, here we go, instructions. Yes, yes. He say, to do it this way. Yes. This is how you're going to be blessed. This is how you're going to overcome. This is how you're going to be able to stand in the Lord. But the moment you um, stop going this way and you're following, 
like that. And it was talking about how great is the island, but it's, you know, the Roman soldiers are coming in there and they, they worship the idol gods. Mm. And so it's easy to get caught up in a, in a conversation, you know, and then mm. here we go. They're following mm. after the pagan God. Mm -hmm. So Paul was telling them, look, you're going off the wrong track here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me direct you. Let me guide you mm -hmm. according to God's word. Yes. Where to stay at. How mm -hmm. to be blessed. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's what he wants. The same thing today. Yes. His word will guide and direct us. Yes. We just got to walk in obedience to it and believe what it says. Amen. Just like they had to believe. Amen. We got to believe too. Amen. And if we don't, I mean, when things happen, how can you blame God? Not even the devil, because he, you, uh, as the old saying, you asked for that, because you didn't do what, you didn't believe the word, you didn't obey it, you didn't walk in it. So when it happens, okay, that's your consequences for disobedience. Come on. That's a judgment that has come to you. Praise God, because of you not listening to God and, and you know, just walking in. It's just something. God's word is true. It's real. I, I, my prayers when I think about it, I say, God, just help us as your people to really believe your word. Don't just try to pick out something we want when we want this or that, but to really take you at your word, the good and the bad, as they say, all of God's word is good, but to realize the consequences when we don't obey. That's got to be just as important to us as children of God, not just thinking about good things and great things and blessed things, but praise God, when we don't do it, there are still consequences when we don't. So that's got to be so, it should be as for a child of God. It should cause such a heartbreak. It should cause such a conviction to a true saint of God that's really genuine and real for God that if I do it, I can't just take this lightly. I can't just do that. I, I, you know, I can't miss God. I can't miss what he has for me. I can't miss what's why I have an eternal life. I can't miss his blessing. Praise God. It's, it's, it's got to be so serious. And it's an individual. It's not a corporate thing. It's not a couple thing. It's an individual thing that you got to do yourself. You got to want it to happen in your own life because God has no respect of persons. So nobody, nobody's that great and that special that they can get around what the word says. Amen. Go ahead. Next scripture. From Proverbs 24, verse 3 from the King Jeff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Through wisdom is an house built, mm -hmm. and by understanding it is established, mm -hmm. and by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with precious and pleasant riches. Oh, I love that. Glory to God. Mm hmm. Uh, excuse me, re t the passion version on the back? Yes, ma'am. I'm getting Okay. Okay, okay. Tiffany. Come on, Lake. Wise people mm -hmm. are builders. Mm -hmm. They build families, business, communities, and through intelligence and insight, their enterprises are established and endure. Mm -hmm. Because of their skilled leadership, the hearts of the people are filled with the treasures of wisdom and the pleasure of spiritual wealth. Oh, amen. That's good. In this text, too, the word house not only refers to a structure in which people live, but also to the people who live within it. Because the people who lives in the house is who what? Makes up the house, right? Not the building itself, but the people in the building. Okay, wisdom makes a home strong. One must have wise, uh, you do wise plan, hard work, strong lives, and home must be built on the rock, the firm foundation, which is we know is Jesus Christ. Built on the word, first of all. And Pro Solomon is given some wisdom, first of all, focusing, he's given some wisdom, some godly principles to have a successful life. Over see, a successful and we got to think about, is that important 
How important is it to you? Now, listen, let me, let me say this preface. Let me say this first. I'm not talking about obtaining money, okay? But to have a successful home that's full of peace, that's full of love, that's full of happiness, that's full of compassion, that's full of caring, that money part can come on it, you know, it can come. But what I'm saying is the success of the home, and it says like chambers, and my sister said chambers also mean, represents bedrooms, that when you go from room to room, peace, love, not torment, not depression, not oppression, not suicidal, all these things. Because in the home, the people in the home, it, it makes it up. Come on, somebody talk to me now. That the, it, it, the people in the home makes the home a beautiful, loving place. Or what? Or the opposite. Now, it's not the wood, the panel, uh, uh, whatever. The marble, the chandeliers, is the individuals in the house. Oh, come on, somebody. Oh, my God. To, 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 do you live to please one another? You know, do you know each other? You know, I like to ask questions. Do you know each other really intimately? Okay. Homes are filled with riches that money cannot buy. Should be. Or shall I say that? Should be. <laughs> that money can't buy. I know somebody that said, Pastor, the scripture said money answers all things. Right on. <laughs> but can a person really buy love, buy peace? No. Are you sure, Tiffany? How you know, Tiffany? I, 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 now you sure? You sure? No, 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 but 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 no, no. Maybe they said the amount you had is enough. No, no, the amount. If your amount goes higher, the amount got to go higher. See, you know, not a certain amount, but you got so much. You if you could live a hundred years and still have plenty, can you buy peace? No. <laughs> okay. Well, Pastor, just like she was saying. If Cheryl had a million dollars now, I, I'm I, I'm gonna fall in line with whatever she want to do. That still ain't gonna mean I be love honest. her. Come on, Robert. Come that, on, that be honest. That ain't gonna mean I love her now. That's right. Be honest. That's it. Even sexual wise, that still ain't gonna be mean I love her. Mm -hmm. I love her money. I love spending up her money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. That is true. <laughs> See, this this is this is what we have to be. We have to be honest with ourselves and think about. See, if you have a few thousand, all that, that's really not a whole lot of money. 10,000, 20, that's not really a whole, whole lot of money. 50,000, not a whole lot of money. Not really. Because, really. you know, you can buy, you know what? A car costs more than that. Not a big luxury car either. <laughs> Just a small economy, little car. And some of it costs more than that. It's according to what you get on it. Hello. But if you got... If you work 20 million, you got this, you got to know this person, that person, that you don't have it, you know somebody got you really. What would be the average or percentage of people that's really happy? If that was the case, Pastor, you wouldn't see these star killings. I mean, think about yeah. the suicide rate in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. I got it. And you think about, but why? Why wouldn't a person? Okay, you got plenty of friends. You got all this. You got you can buy anything you want, fly anywhere you want, do anything you want. So you think about it. Why wouldn't people yet be happy? Honestly. And it's not a talk of God. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's what, and, and tell, you think about it because it has to be a seriousness from a person's heart. Now you think about it. Mostly everybody you be around, they say something about God. This and people that's not even serving them, they say God is blessing me with music, blessing me with the words, blessing me. To, think about it. That's what people say when listen to TV. Everybody's giving God glory. They win this. They do this. Oh, I honor God, but not serve Him. So is it a just an ordinary word God is like Coca-Cola? You know, you think about it. So I'm going to talk about, you know, it's, it's, it's just something that's just not so serious to the heart. I wonder why. Was you think about why aren't people touched enough in their hearts and in their minds to realize I want to ch really change. I really want to surrender my all. What does it have? What does it take for a person to realize that I'm on a road going nowhere? And Jesus right there said, come unto me. I, I, I'm, I, I'm going and 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 but but the devil's also there is just everyone said, you know, at my aunt's home going and said, Oh gosh, I'll tell you, girl, you preach. Oh, that was so good. This da 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 da. But how are some of them thinking today? The anointing you be touched by. You heard it and it was good and you felt something and said, Oh yeah, that was for me. I know I need a change. But today how are people feeling? What are they thinking? Do I really need to look into Jesus? Do I need him? And you think about that. And this is a mistake that happens in so many people's lives. And when the anointing of God is touching, and also the scripture says, the day you hear my voice, what? How many, how, how many know how many chances I'm going to get again. But take it lightly. And you are touched in your heart. You feel that, what the person saying. You know I need to make a change. But as soon as you go out of the door or whatever from the place where you heard that, where the anointing, the power of God was, the devil's right there. Let me snatch it. What's that scripture in the Matthew talking about? The bird, different things happen that the pluck get the word out of a person. Come on, just that fast. Oh, God. Why does it take tragedy for people to really to have an ear, a heart, a mind to change? How bad do things have to get in order for change to take place? A heart change to turn to God. Amen. Tiffany. You know, Pastor, I was thinking about it, and it's really been in my spirit um, here lately. People talk about the grace of God, but they don't speak on the wrath of God. Mm -hmm. And and God has really been dealing with me about the fullness of him. And, and not that grace isn't sufficient, but we don't know, um, and David says it a lot, the um, consequences of our action, you know. We don't know what's going to happen because there is reaping and sowing. It's just the word. It's mm -hmm. the law. It's the law in the spirit, and it's the law in the natural. Whatever you sow, you're going to reap. And we and, and, um, and God just been saying to me, my people are, are they talk about the, the grace of me, but there's another side to me, too. There's the wrath of me. And that may sound crazy, but there's a fullness mm -hmm. to God, mm -hmm. and we don't know. We don't have a clue what that looks like, you know, mm -hmm. or we we he rescue us and we we come to him when he rescue us. But then we go away from him after we've been rescued or we forget what we promised or we forget what we said that we would do. You know, and God mm -hmm. has just been dealing with me mm -hmm. about that. It's, 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 it's so real. It's, 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 it's so, so 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 real and and God wants that he wants his people blessed and and the scripture that it's it's not his will that anybody perish you know God goes after people I believe that he is that he's long suffering he, he gives people time 
praise God, and you think about it, that when your home is filled with kindness. See, the, the adults in the home got to pass this down to the children. Because they got to see kindness shown, the love shown, the sacrifice. Come on. They can't just see all they see. If we get what we want, we get what we want. Give, and then they can become selfish. Just like people at any age. Because you get what you want. If God gave us everything we want when we need it, what kind of people will we really be? Every time he answered, he did it. Every time, call, he did it. 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 And you think about appreciation, and, and, and you got, we got to see all these things and the compassion, the sacrifice, the patience, and, and all these attributes of who Christ is when it's demonstrated in the parents, and then it trickles down the children, trickles down to the grandchildren, trickles down this, it trickles down to friends, and do all these things. And this is, and, and, and to, to, to build, and we as saints of God have to make up our mind, what kind of legacy do we really want to build? What do we want to be remembered for? And, and, and you think about and, and all these things, and, and God said, I'm trying to build you. And the scripture says, except he build the house. It's, if he doesn't build it, and he didn't say it's a force building, we got to let him build and so you got to realize, when, if he's the builder, do people, other people tell the builder how to build? That's their profession, right? Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> but, but you got to realize okay when, when Jesus is and so whatever needs to be changed as Jesus building us what are we supposed to do allow him to do it be attentive and listen and, and walk in obedience and know this is what he says. But see, this is why it's important. It says the foundation of God's house is sure because the Lord knows those that are his. Come on. In these end times, in these last days, if we're truly believers that are growing in God's grace and want to be all he presses us to be, you know what the time on earth is too short to just have, just, just be arguing over fussing or whatever over petty stuff. Life is too short. Petty stuff that means them. We don't have time to talk about things that don't profit. And that's wasting time. There's no growth in that. that, 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 that that's, that's, that's no growth in that. Praise God. Uh, you know, you think about it. Is that things can just spread. You, you know, you start on a path. It can spread. And I have in my nose like this. Ungodly talk and all that is like a cancer. Because you know what? It eat away at you. And lead a person in more to even more and more ungodliness. Because you, you go on down that rabbit trail. And then something else going to happen. Then something else going to happen. You get disgruntled about this. Then you get disgruntled about that. And then you get disgruntled about something. Because that's the enemy's job. As the word of God said, let everyone that name the name of Christ, what? Depart from iniquity. God, do that. And, and we got to think about that God wants to do something. And, 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 and in the house of God, can we be real now? There are different kinds of vessels. That's good. Wood, clay, silver, gold, right? Mm-hmm. Some to honor, some to dishonor. Okay? Some pure. Some tarnished, some clean, some dirty, some righteous, some corrupt. It's all in the same house. So you got to realize that, that what, what do we want? Hallelujah, God. But we have to make up in our mind is that this, you know, it, it, it's so time out to avoid senseless, senseless controversy. 
Oh, but some, I'm not going to just use you. I know she might I'll oversee that. Well, I think it should be purple. Well, no, Jerry, I think it should be green. Go back and forth for an hour. About nothing. Going, no, you know, this, this should not happen in, in, this, in the house of God, especially. It's not even worth it. And you, you, we have to recognize the tricks and the traps of the devil. God said, I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. I came to give you a blessed life. Glory to God. I came to bless you. Glory to God. So I pray that's why this month of prayer that you will let Jesus arise. Glory to God and all that mess. Let all that stuff go. Glory to God. Hallelujah, God. You got to realize this year, this season, I, 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 I'm not going to be messing with all that stuff. Uh, uh. Too much time is wasting on foolishness. Do you understand? Too much time and energy. <sighs> Glory to God. And, and if somebody don't take it so seriously, hallelujah, about my life, and I want change, and I want to walk in victory, I want, it's time to be strong in the power of God's might. It's time to be what God predestined us to be. Praise God, the great ambassadors of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, God. Give a heart, soul, mind, body, everything over to him. Surrender completely. Not pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down. Today I'm great because something good happened, but tomorrow I'm going through and then they change. Glory. No, 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 no. We can be victorious. We can be blessed. This is why it's imperative in these last days who you connect yourself to. I want to be connected to people going on the same road I'm going on. I, I do not I'm not on that broad road. You can be on the broad I'm not on the broad road now, I'm telling you. <sighs> Glory to God. Because life is too short. Like I said, I don't care what people get materialistically. But I don't care about that. Life is too short for me. God will bless, yes, and if we all, I like good, nice things. All, yes, I do, and all that stuff. But please, my, I ain't caught up. In, uh, no, 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 no. Because I want my soul to be saved. I want to walk in victory, live in victory in the earth. I strive and everything to be that more than a conqueror. He said I could be. Glory to God. And all this other stuff, how that stuff is happening so quick and fast. And you're realizing, is that how can this be? How did this happen? Glory to God. And, and, and someone was sharing with me, I won't name it, but, but, but about this person and all that they had, they had, had so much and good jobs and all oh, their money, all this kind of stuff. But then one day found out some devastation happened to one of them. Now they, endure, they have to endure that. Going anywhere, doing anything, spending all this, spending, spending, spending on the children, spending, 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 spending. Spend. But now, all that's changed. Just like that. You're young, too. It just changed. Just like that. There's, they don't know what's going to happen next. But I'm telling you, we have a chance. And, 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 and when God wants to bless, and I believe this, God even touches people. And when they're connected to true children of God, and, and that person those person begin to speak to them and they ignore it I don't think that's good because God is going to allow it to come back to the remembrance you were told thus and so and when stuff happens and I trust you do as I do we pray for our loved ones we pray for people we know our friends they come to know it and then we tell them and then they ignore that and then when something happens we love you but we got to tell you, remember, I told you so and so and so. But you didn't take heed. Somebody might think that sound bad. I don't think, I don't know if she mind if she can bring back to my memory. Over, she was sharing with me one time, it's been some years ago, about a friend or something, and something was going on. And I think you said something, you told her, no, 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 I'm not praying for that. 
a conversation you had. Maybe I'm missing part of it. You know, remember what you said. You know. Because we got to help people grow. You should want to be around people that's going to help you be better. Not keep you down. But they want you to prosper. They want you to increase. They want you to expand. They want you to enlarge. So you got even friends of mine, you love, love you got to tell people the truth. There's not, that's not, you're not trying to hurt them. You're trying to help them. Because if you stay pitiful, you'll be 80 years old, still pitiful. Going nowhere, accomplishing nothing. Because the people you surround yourself with, that's where they stayed. And when God said, I came, that you might have life and have it more abundantly. I came to give you a blessed life. Because they haven't gotten their mind is not from that place. It's as if they're stuck. And sometimes I think of prayer, but some people get stuck. I'm serious. They really get stuck. And you try to help, do all you can to help, but then they still just be stuck. And the next day, either you don't say it, you don't pray, you don't talk to them. And the next week, they're going, they're back at that same, the same conversation, talking the same way. So it's important. And we think, oh, yeah, that's my friend, da, 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 da. But glory to God, I'm telling you, we're living in these last days. It's time. Praise God. You got to think that you got to stand on what this says. And you got to trust it and got to believe it. If you're going to be the overcomer that he says. Come on. What, who, we're going to let separate us from his love. Things are happening. You might say, oh, no, I won't let it. No, 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 no. How, how, how much, what, what, what do we, what, a person has to make a decision. What do I want more? What means more to me? So are you going uh, you to connect yourself to somebody that know the right people to get more? What are you going to do to get more? Glory to God. People with, I was saying to love the Lord enough to connect somebody. Yes, just get me and, 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 and just help me and deliver me. I, got, I, I want to come out. I want to be blessed. I want to grow. I love it about Helen Bader's testimony. How she said, you know, how she was listening to him and she was doing uh, drugs and all that and she was doing her best and doing, but that word came forth and she when made up her mind. She said, I went there and sat there. I think it was five years or seven years. Getting that word in her. Wasn't trying to still sing. But she said it in Fair Price Ministry. Getting that word. Now people don't want to sit and get the word. They want to go out and do, 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 do. And, and not deliver and mess other people up. I want to get a briefcase and go preach. Mess somebody else up. Glory to God. But she said they got the word in her. The word is what's got to to penetrate. The word is going to bring us deliverance. When you believe what the word says and you stand on what the word, it's just like it's, it's, it's just embedded in your heart. Glory to God. And when things begin to happen, tests and trials begin to come, heartache and pain begin to happen, this word, glory to God, it's just like that's your heartbeat. Oh, God, God, it's, it's brought back to your remembrance. And you just talk to yourself. Uh, I can do all things through Christ. Uh, hallelujah, by his stripes I'm healed. This word, this word, this word. Uh, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. Uh, hallelujah, God. I won't leave you. I won't forsake you. Uh, let not your heart be troubled. The word, the word, when things begin to happen, the word, the word, the word comes up. Uh, I can run and not be weary. I can walk and not faint. Uh, though it tarry, wait on it. Uh, it's coming. It's coming. Uh, hallelujah. I am your shepherd. Uh, you shall not I want. Uh, hallelujah, God. Uh, because you are John heir. Uh, hallelujah with me, Jesus, and heir of Christ. Uh, hallelujah, whatever's mine is yours. Uh, it's coming. Wait on it. Uh, don't look like it's not going to happen, uh, but you believe that it's going to happen. Uh, hallelujah, God. Uh, I'm holding you up uh, with the right hand of my righteousness. Uh, behold, uh, I'm doing a new thing. Uh, hallelujah. It shall spring forth. Uh, the word, the word just got to be like that in us. Uh, when stuff began to happen, uh, hallelujah, said pray uh, without ceasing. Uh, hallelujah, God. Uh, hallelujah, God. You got to keep on. Huh? And when you're walking through the valley huh, of the shadow of death, huh, the old God devastations all around you. Huh? But fear no evil, for thou art with me. Huh? Hallelujah, God. I'm with you. Huh? Goodness and mercy is following you. Huh? Hallelujah, God. Huh? Oh, God. Something happens. 
And that's what you got to talk. You got to stand on it. No matter how bad, how dark, how bleak, Lincoln, I hear that for you. Akashata. Ooh, got that cold. Sha na 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 ma sakata ye siko bo sha. Yo koko ma sha. Hallelujah, God. We can't look at the darkest hour. We got to know the light is coming. It may not come to in exact second we want it. But you got to know I'm holding on. Huh? Like the church that they feel it. I got a little strength. Uh, I'm holding on to that little strength. Uh, because I know the victory is already mine. You got to know that. The devil does not deserve the win. No matter how Akasha. His job is to defeat us as saints. He doesn't want us to talk a victorious talk. He just wants us to just give up, quit. Oh, it ain't going to change and all this. And be around people say, oh, no, 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 no. Bad news is good news. <laughs> Woo, God, because the battle's already won by God. And glory to God, you got to talk like every day. Tell people, oh, you know what I mean? No, it's not, it's, it's, I got to boast in my God. I can't boast in nobody else. You got to tell people, look, uh, Sharon, tell me, I hear this too. Tell somebody, hey, you know what? According to my faith, you may not have it, but you speak the word, and God going to do it because I spoke about my faith. Come on now. And God will deliver that person. God will bless them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Don't you know we serve that kind of God? We got to have that boldness. We got to have that confidence. We got to have that kind of courage to know, hey, why the, the devil's doing all he can. And, and, and glory to God, people following him left and right. And have no shame in doing it. And we serve a God that say we're more than a conqueror. And we be defeated all the time. And the world is prospering, hands over heels. And they can still talk about God. Say, oh, God going to do this. Come on. God going to bless me. I got... That's it. Anybody got it? And see, the thing is, they trust and believe him. Yes, yeah, right, Jill. Is it all you do? Just faith of grain of mustard seed, just a little bit. That little bit will get you a whole lot. It can move a mountain that little bit. So you think about, it. and they got sense enough to believe that, and we got him, but don't have sense enough to believe it. Don't even stand on it, and you can let a sinner outdo you in your faith. <sighs> Gonna outdo you. Oh, God. And you're going to tell them the God that you serve. And your faith is nowhere near theirs. And you've seen all this stuff happening. You say, I trust God. Yeah, I was in a car for a little bit, but look at me now. Oh, God, I can't make it. Oh, God, I can't make it. Because you say, hey, but you got to know that God will do it. As a sister told me some years ago, and, and at the, I, I used to I do I, I used to do that and I, I do that. I testify after it was over. <sighs> That's that was my thing. That's me now. And he said, "Well, Evangelist Thompson, why didn't you say you need some food? God bless me. What I'm gonna testify for? My faith had to be in Him." <sighs> Why didn't you tell me you need some money to get some heat? My, hey, if we don't trust God to move, how are you going to tell somebody about your faith if he ain't never done nothing for you to demonstrate what you got? Oh, 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 sha. I don't want to tell them about Daniel and Paul and all them. I want to have write my own chapter because this is who they see. They don't see Peter. They don't see Daniel. They don't see Job. But where is your Job experience? Oh, 
Oh, God, you can tell them what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. Words your lions didn't experience. You can tell them what the Lord has done in your life. And you're a physical person, a visible person. They can see. And you live in the same world they live in. Oh, my God. Come on, somebody. I'm stirring my soul about that because our God is real. Hallelujah, God. It goes shouting out of the boss side. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Okay, sure. Where are we at now? Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Acts 20, verse 30 from the Amplified. Uh -huh. Even from among your own selves, men will arise, speaking perverse and distorted things. To draw away the disciples after themselves as their followers. Come on now. What's happening now on the earth? Come on. What's happening right now? What's happening now? Deviating from what is right and good. Perverse. What's happening right now? Paul is speaking his last words to the church leaders. This was his excuse me, third mission to the Gentiles and his group. And he said, God and keep, live for God and his word. We got to still do it. We got to still do it. And as the pastor, I have to watch my own life too. I have to be first a partaker of myself. Glory to God. I, I, you know, and, and I got to guard against things myself as a leader. Glory to God. And, and all these things that, that, that he was letting them know that. And we have to do the same thing today. Nobody's exempt. Nobody is, is praise God. Hallelujah, God. I got to make sure I'm looking after the people with all that I know how that he allowed me to pastor. I take this seriously. Not for a paycheck. Glory to God. Because, see, I realize that God is going to get me and realizing that that's why I tell you there are really false teachers. Come on. In the earth right now. They do their best. And some of the stuff is right. Some of it's half right. Come on. And if I like this, I'm going to hop over here with them because that's what I like. That part they teach. And they're far from God. Too many now want to satisfy Self, the flesh. Come on. And these things are happening. Glory to God. And we got to realize that. And, and, and people want to follow the celebrity. Okay. Like I think it says Matthew 7, 15. It says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous bulls. Come on. We don't believe that. We don't believe it. People don't believe that. They don't believe that. Some don't bless. Hallelujah, God. This is why we must live the word of God the best that we know how every day. And, and to build and, and, and keep on going, keep on pressing, no matter what, as far as things, all the things that happen to him. But see, I see, he said, I still press toward the mark. You got to keep going. Praise God. The trouble should cause us to draw closer to him, right? Not draw away from him should cause us to draw closer, to be more determined that, God, I just, I got to be that doer of this word. I got to be God. And, and, and God, if I ever get slowful, relaxed, or slack, God, put it in me, that hunger, that thirst. Come on. It, it says, because sometimes you get busy, this happened, that happened, this going, this going, all this. Uh, and you got to come back to yourself. And got to realize there been times that things happen, and I have to come back. I say, God, have, forgive me. I, I didn't do as, a, I, I didn't talk to you enough today. I didn't read today. I do. This is what I do. I said, God, you forgive me. Because you deserve more from me. I, I don't want to ever neglect you. I can neglect me, but I don't want to ever neglect you. That's me. That's how I talk to him. And I'm very serious about that. I don't want to ever go and go and do and do and do and not do what I suppose. Think about in your homes. You, would you want that? Just be neglected. Why would we think he wants to be neglected? Our Savior, our Redeemer. 
He wants you. Praise God. Okay, our last one. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah, the 17th chapter, verse 4. 14. That's 14? Yes, I'm okay. sorry. Did I put four no, of yours? Okay. okay. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Verse 14. Mm -hmm. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For thou art my pe my praise. And you know, we hear so much about Jeremiah as they call him the weeping prophet. He was so badly persecuted because of his messages. Isn't that some? Would you would have loved to live in his hour, his time? I know we would not have. Because he always, he was talking about sin and judgment. You know why? Because they kept sinning and the judgment was coming. They didn't change their mind. So, you know what? And, and, and you have some saints don't want you to t teach or preach or say nothing about sin. Isn't that something? But people know they're not even living a righteous life, but they don't want to hear about sin. And I know they, they say, some people say, well, we, people know what they're doing. Do they really? Do they really know what they're doing? Do they really know they're sin? Do they really? Do they really? <laughs> Oh, God. And so Jeremiah, that's what he was crying out to the Lord. Because I guess the prophet, he was just tired of being ridiculed. But then he had to have a love for God. He, he did have a love for God. And that's something that, that, that they had to face way back then. And, and he, you know, he was faithful. He was committed. But it's still the people didn't change. You think about it. It's almost like it is today. Because people keep hearing and hearing. And still not changing. Hearing and hearing, still not changing. In his time, they were hearing and hearing and still didn't change. Now, you, you think about it. Why would God allow that to be written in the word? For them, not. They heard the word, but didn't do nothing about it. They didn't, kept on sinning. Think about it. Why? Did he make sure that was part of the 66 books? Instead of they repented quickly. Nineveh repented, but you read on in what book is that? Nahum, one of those books that they got. They messed up. They went right back and they got destroyed. Because they, oh God. Jeremiah preached year after year, time after time, telling them. And the same thing today. People are receiving truth, hear truth rather, but not receiving it in their heart. They rather hear something that will entice them and motivate them or, cause, uh, or satisfy the lust of the eye, the pride of life, the lust of the flesh. Saints of God. God wants us to live that blessed life. Amen. Praise God. God bless you tonight. Amen. i give you a few announcements before we close. And remember, this is prayer month. I'll make it clear. I think some may have misunderstood. We ought to pray three times a day. Okay. Some misunderstood that. Not, not choose a time out of the three, but pray three times. 12 midnight, 6 a.m., and 9 p.m., okay? So remember, this month, the whole month of April, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So we're going to get home in time. Praise God, by 9, we can have prayer. Amen. And Passover starts April 22nd, my son, young little David's birthday, through April 30th. And we want to sow a seed, whatever the Lord lays on your heart, on the 28th. And our minister session, please don't forget, I've talked to you some months ago. And we're going to have this first one, uh, April 26th, at, uh, that's a Friday at 7.30 p.m. Don't forget your assignment. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's your I'm sorry. I know it's your birthday. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Cheryl, share it with you. Yeah, I gave you assignment. Yeah. And also, on this Sunday, uh, Pastor Jeff from Kingdom Encounters will be our speaker. So, pray for the God. Bless him. Amen.
Let us pray. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, again tonight, we thank you. We thank you for your blessed word. We thank you for these our blessed people. Father, I thank you for being your servant tonight, speaking what you have said. Oh, God, as I open my mouth and I trust you, God, that you have said what you wanted to say. Thank you for the hearts and minds being touched. Thank you for lives being changed deliverances, God. God, we just give you glory for it. I just give you glory as your servant, God. And I thank you, God, for people growing, God, being the mature men and women that you predestined all us to be. And God, fulfilling our divine assignment, God, the purpose that you place us in the earth to fulfill. And God, we thank you, God, for them spreading this word, telling somebody else, God, encouraging them, building them up, God. I thank you, God, for touching hearts, God, giving them an ear to hear and a mind to change, God, that, that can't make it with without you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Let them know, people know, that the world would not do them any good. Hallelujah, God. The devil does not love them. Hallelujah, that they want to give it up, God. Hallelujah, what are they holding on to that will, oh God, cause them not to want to serve you, God. But God, to make up their mind, they want to serve you, want to live right, want to walk uprightly, God. Not talk about you. Hallelujah, but really live the life that you say live, God. They might reap the harvest that you say they can have. And God, receive the many benefits and blessings and promises of God that you already ordained for their lives. Oh God, just do it, God. In the name of you, you touch, you deliver, you bless. And God, we thank you right now. Angels are going for us. Angels are clearing the way. you taking us all home, saving no incidents, accidents, or mishaps. Thank you, God, for a blessed rest of the week. We return on Sunday with joy and peace and the Holy Ghost coming to lift up the name of Jesus. Coming, God, to hear what you have to say unto us once again. Coming, oh God, hallelujah, giving you praise, glory, and honor in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen.